Math 151, problem number 4B, from the practice assessment 1. And uh, given this function g, we're supposed to find the derivative of g using our uh, limit definition. And if you remember, you should remember the limit as h approaches 0 of um, f a little ways away from f minus something at, at x uh, divided by that little ways away. What we're doing here is we're shifting that secant line, letting it slowly, slowly become the tangent. So we're going to let the distance between the points approach zero, and we're going f of um, x plus some distance. So that would be just plug in x plus some distance minus the function at x divided by that distance. Direct substitution is not going to do anything for us. Would be divided by zero. So we're going to multiply these out. Um, one thing to notice, uh, this does not equal this, just not true. Um, we, this means it times itself three times, so you need to multiply it out. Or you need to know the, um, you need to know the relationship for cubing, and uh, it's the first one cubed plus three times the first one squared times the second one, plus three times the first one times the second one squared, plus the last one cubed. And notice that's minus x cubed over h. Again, what we're trying to do is figure out how to cancel out this h so we can do some direct uh, substitution. Uh, it's kind of nice that x cubed minus x cubed is zero. So limit is h to zero over h of, uh, notice that what's left I can factor an h out of. So if I do that, I'm left with a 3x squared plus 3xh. Need a little space here, I'll erase that. Uh, plus h squared. So this h divides out. So I'm left with the limit as h approaches zero of 3x squared plus 3xh plus h squared. And now I can do some direct substitution. As I let h go to zero, this term is a zero and this term is a zero. So it just equals 3x squared. So my derivative at x is 3x squared.